Hello everybody, FunshineX here. This is uh, hour number 13. Let me check real quick. Uh, 12th, yeah, start of the 13th hour. Um, I think. I don't know. Uh, looking at the next set of requirements, I think one of the easier ones that's remaining is the um, solar power. And that one's got solar arrays, medium and, and low light sensors. Couple solar panels, uh, oh, a high voltage solar array. Holy crap, that's a lot of solars. Okay, let's make it take a little while, but we can get some of these. A helmet, an apiary, and a collector MK3, which takes red matter. So some of these are easy, some are not. <laughs> so, um, but we'll be working towards those as we go. And um, check some of the other ones out as well. All right, here's things that make you go boom. Um, some of these again are easy, some of them are not, so let's just get a screenshot and work towards some of them as we go. Okay, got that. Um, this is still just pulling out. I think we're about out of lava. Just filling my MFE a little bit more. Actually, it's not filling MFE, it's filling the bat box, which is full. So really, it's only going to keeping those three machines running. Um, that's fine. And remember, we got clay and cactus last time. And uh, so I want to get some of that cactus stuff. I can find waterproofing. Hmm, it might take me a second. There we go. And cactus green. Let's get uh, let's take a stack of it. Might as well. Quite a few diamonds coming in. That's good. And all I need to do there. Cool. Pipe waterproofing. Let me get my pipes. Oh, I actually had a ton already. That's all right. Let's turn my stone pipes into waterproof. And come on over here. Don't fall off the edge, please. And we'll just come down here. And start filling those guys up. Sweet. I don't have another le lever, do I? Darn it. I don't know why I'm getting water, but I need I'm gonna need it, so might as well start pulling it in. Mushrooms are invading. All right, should be all four of our engines going. Put me some water. There it goes. Nice and slow. I can make that golden, but... Really, I'm just getting a reserve here. I'm not worrying about power engines at the moment. Okay, so we got some water. We got a good source of that. Uh, what I'd like to do next is to do some forestry, specifically a peat farm, because I'm needing a lot of engines, so I might as well use peat engines. Uh, so we'll get a peat farm, peat engines, and um, a couple of other things, like maybe a, a sugarcane farm and a... Uh, Maybe a cactus farm and a wood farm, a tree farm. All those are just going to generate passive EMC for us, and we are definitely in the need of EMC. 
because all we're really getting is our mob farm and our cobble generator. And this thing's not moving too fast, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting that ready. Be back. Okay, so I've got the uh, turbury, the pea farm, and a couple red in uh, peat engines, a normal steam engine, and a ton of bog earth. The way I did bog earth, I switched this from lava to water buckets, grabbed a whole ton of them, stuck them in here, and shift clicked, and rinse repeat. So let's find a place to put this farm. Let's just go out that way. Yeah, I'm going to need to store this stuff because I don't want to fall off with it all on me. And then just get some building materials. Oh, I was wondering where I got that. I think I got that from the uh, the beast. But that won't affect gameplay. Okay, let's go build. I'm thinking forestry over here in the forest. Need to at least go. Uh, I think Pete is uh, 13 by 13. Six, seven. I'm just going to go just a few more just in case. So I'll put my engine there, or my turbo anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and place this down let it start building. Okay, I got the uh, peat bog set here. Bog earth's in there. Let's give it a go. Just using an initial cobble, uh, charcoal to get this guy going. Should start placing the bog earth down. Not sure what it'll do with my torches, but it's daytime, so it'll be all right. Any time now, engine. There it goes. This thing's pretty slow. Wow. Steam just quite slow. But that's fine. It'll go. Is it gonna? What would you do with my torch? Two charcoal's not gonna be enough. Let's see how good I counted. Nice, that's exactly where I wanted it. Little lip around the edge. Right to the thing, let's count this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Oop, I need an extra row here. Cool. I'm gonna get some more charcoal while this thing's finishing up. Okay, so the peat farm fully uh, filled in, so I went ahead and put down the turbary and wrenched the uh, engine. And we should be getting some peat now, and yes we are, awesome. Should be getting some dirt as soon as this guy powers up again, so let's put a uh, peat engine here. Take the rest of these out of here. And... Yeah, that's going to start harvesting our peat. Cool. Just 
wait for this guy to run out. How much light we got? We need to light this place up a little better. Looks good to me. Um, PEEP itself does not have an EMC value, and you can figure it costs one EMC because you get uh, eight bog earth for four dirt and four stone or cobble or uh, sand. So it's about one EMC to make one of these guys plus some time, and that'll make a PEEP. So cost one CM to EMC to make uh, doesn't give you anything back on the back end, but uh, you can use it in all the engines, and basically it's infinitely renewable at that point. Uh, oh, one EMC for water as well, so 1.125 EMC per peat. No big deal, I can do that. All right, this is done, so I'm gonna take you back. And put that one there, which means we can just use one lever. There we go. And now these will run infinitely. They'll always just keep powering themselves as long as we have enough uh, bog earth will be in there. So uh, next what I'll need is a logistics system to always put new peat in here and new bog earth in here with the auto crafting for bog earth. We can do that. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. We got enough torches here. Okay. Why are these leaves growing back? I thought I flipped them all. Either way. I could probably get rid of that forest now. Beefed up my wall here. So this looks more like a room. Might even put a roof on it. And, uh,. All right, what's next? Uh, let's go with some more forestry engines. Let's go with a tree farm next. Okay, I got my arboretum. I'm gonna throw it right there. Stick a few peat in there, and I forgot a lever, of course. And this guy needs, uh, what is this, humus? And some saplings. Let's see if we've got the stuff to make humus. I can't remember. How's this guy doing? Making it faster than it uses it, which is awesome. So I'm going to get a lever and some saplings and try and see if we can get some humus. Quick tip, if you've got one type of sapling and you want another, just transmute it. And break your pick in the process. <laughs> So there's a number of ways to get humus. Um, the easiest is if you have appetite, which we do not have. So that's out. Um, the other way is to take this ash that you get and either combine it with dirt or um, sand to get uh, either fertilizer or manure. And then you can make the humus. The other way is in a carpenter with mulch. And mulch you get from either squeezing apples or from decaying wheat. So none of those options really oops, go in there, have the best way, or an easy way right now for us to make. Um, so we're just going to have to use some of the ash coming off here to get started. Oh, we got a ton of peat now, that's awesome. See how these just run forever? Um, we use the ash initially and then we'll try and get like a wheat farm going with IC2 um, crops and uh, go from there. All right, so from that four ash and a bunch of dirt, I got eight humus. Oh, 
Get dark, crap. And I did not bring anything to light you guys up. Let's go sleep before we get some baddies spawning. Oh, let me to my bed. Did we make it in time? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Okay, so I think that's just going to go ahead and put all of that down. I'm going to grab some saplings just to get this guy started. Oh, no, it's sapling for me. Okay, cool. So then we need our logger. Oops, I want to put it. Dang it. Broke my pick earlier. I have to do something about this forest. It's hard to run through. Thank you for a new pickaxe. Okay, move you here. And a tree or a chest here. Collect the goodies. I'm gonna get a bone mail just to make sure it's working. And some food. I am hungry. A bowl will be fine. Oh, bone mill got expensive. What do we do with an empty bowl? We want some food? Just come over to our mushroom and say, thank you. And he feeds us. Okay, so if I go ahead and go bam, bam, there's our wood, sweet. I'm not sure why it didn't take this one. That's really weird. Might want to increase the platform size here just so if any saplings fall or apples. I don't know if they fall or if it just grabs them. Looks like it did get a sapling for us. Maybe because I bone milled that it didn't harvest that wood. I saw an apple fall. Did we grab it? Sweet. So let's just assume that was a issue with the bone meal. Okay, do we get any ash here? Nope. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get enough ash to support our humus, humus needs. Looks like you got enough water. Plenty. 
move stream up on the monument. So instead, let's get a squeezer or a fermenter. Okay, I put my squeezer down here, I'll put some apples in there, and squeeze it. This is going to get me a little bit of uh, mulch, I think, as a byproduct. But also, we're going to get apple juice, which we'll need later on anyway, so might as well get some now. We do need that peat, don't we? how much you got. Good enough. Assuming six will be enough to squeeze a stack of apples. Who knows? And uh, the other way is a fermenter. We have a lot more gears. Just checking, make sure they hadn't added a pattern here. Stone gears, and I need to make these. Gears. I believe I'll check. Bronze gears. Okay, and that guy needs to go in the dark. So I think a good place for him will be... Hmm. Right over here. We'll make this area right here all dark later. Oh my goodness, okay. So I know we need wheat. Have we made any wheat farms yet? Or any wheat at all? Hmm, I know we have seeds somewhere. I don't see any wheat though. So let's take a seed. And a bone mail. And go get some wheat. You know the cool thing about not lighting this place up, which I just did, but before it wasn't, uh, I killed Enderman, got an Enderpearl. Hooray. Okay, I just took some uh, stone waterproof and routed some water over here to the fermenter. Go ahead and flip these engines back on. Could leave those running forever, I just didn't want to seemed wasteful. Okay, ton of water in there. Um, wheat will go there. And I can't remember what everything else is, but I'm pretty sure this needs to be in a dark room. So I'll get some dark stuff and see if it works. Okay, when I said fermenter, I meant moistener. So, I guess we can leave the engine there. Don't power it. And we'll go get a moistener. And for now, I'm going to put a light in here. 
I think it needs light level 11 to work. And our light here is at 10 or 9 even. 14, 13, 11, 10. Should be even 7. Where's it getting light from? Not sure. There we go, got a moistener. Uh, we're putting some water in there. It's going to take our wheat. And I'm not sure if it even takes energy. I think it just decays. Too light for it? No resources or wrong combination. I think it needs seeds up here. Let's go get some seeds. I don't know what seeds are. Um, flowers, ghosts. Cool. There it goes. Cool. No energy required. Just darkness. So this wheat should go down to moldy wheat, the moldy wheat will go to decaying wheat, and the decaying wheat will go to mulch, and the mulch we can use to make humus. So we are going to need a wheat farm. We can do that. Let's get some wood. Cool deal. And I need some dirt. And where should we put this? Maybe near our farm here. So let's go and break something right here. Perfect. Thank you, torches. Just show you that we're getting our last steps here and our decayed wheat is turning into mulch. That's cool. Don't need quite so many seeds. And the seeds, we're actually getting mycelium. That's cool. Our mushrooms will be happy about that. I'll light this place up. There I go again, creating a new area and not lighting it up. Okay, so I got crops. Oops, not gonna cross breed, breed yet. Just wanna get a bunch of wheat going. Deal. That should grow quickly. I won't have enough wheat for our moistener. Let's go check on our forestry things here. Oh, we must be out of bog earth because. No. Oh, we're out of peat in our engines. Some good amount of ash, that's nice. Let's 
Let's see if it cuts down the tree that time. This time. There we go. Cool. So I must just deal with uh, something with bone meal. Didn't like that. Bunch of extra dirt. That's cool. How'd that get? That's weird. Anyway, oh, look, we're full of apple juice. A lot of mulch. Awesome. All right, things are going well. That's uh, looks like we did about an hour and a half on this episode. So I'm um, going to keep uh, getting more mulch, more ash to generate our humus so we can get a tree farm going and watch the, uh, the wheat farm grow. And I'll be back for next episode. This is Funshine X. Be the beast insanity. Talk to you guys later. Bye.